Hey YouTube, in this video I have an unboxing from speedcubeshop.com. So big thanks to Speedcube Shop for sending me this. So make sure to check out speedcubeshop.com, link in the description below. And this is the Speedstacks Gen 4 timer. And it's a good thing that I am more than three years old because otherwise I would not be allowed to use this. And let's take it out. Ooh, Gen 4, very exciting. Okay, so first let's look at this and see what this is. I guess it's sort of like a, a guide for how to use it. Anyway, now we get to remove this before use. This sort of thing is always fun. Let's do that. Yeah, that was fun. And now the moment of truth. Will it turn on? And it does. Okay, I'm satisfied. So now that we know it turns on, let's try to solve. Well, not a great first solve, but the time shows up pretty well. And it starts and stops well. It won't stop. It won't start now. Reset button's right here. That's pretty nice. And it does have these nice curved surfaces here. So it's really comfortable to put your hands on. Yeah, this is really nice. It has a very interesting shape. Here's my Gen 2 timer. As you can see, this one is a little more traditional. It's not so curvy and the screen is normal, not curved or anything. Although this timer does appear to have a save feature. So let's say I break my PB with a .494. If I hit the save button, I guess maybe that'll save it to time one. Maybe I turn it off. Yeah, well that's uh, Maybe not the most user-friendly for a noob like me, but I guess that's why we have this. And believe it or not, this doesn't tell me anything about how to save my times. It tells me how to turn it on and reset it, which are probably the most self-explanatory things about this timer. So, um, so this is pretty useless. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the timer's pretty nice. I'll give it that. It, it's a very nice timer, uh, not very self-explanatory for how you save stuff. I don't think I'm going to be saving my PBs on here anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But yeah, it times to the thousandth of a second, which is some pretty nice precision on here. The main reason I wanted to get this was because you can plug it into a computer and have your times automatically uh, put into CS timer or QQ timer or whatever timer you use. And so that is really nice because I use uh, Speedstacks timer for all of my solves, so now I won't have to type it in anymore. It is quite expensive though, it's about 50 something dollars on speedcubeshop.com, so if you already have a Gen 3 or a Gen 2 that you're happy with, I don't think you should necessarily get it, but it's still a really nice timer if you are looking for a new one like I was, because my Gen 2 does not plug into a computer, and that was getting frustrating. So yeah, I'm definitely really, really happy with this. I'll probably have a review out on it soon, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.